Hi there, welcome to this series of tutorials on interview questions on the collections framework. We are in the last video right now. In the previous videos we looked at the overview, what are the different interfaces in the collection framework, what are the different classes, what are the interview questions which are asked for map, list and all that kind of stuff. And in this video let's move on to another important interface in uh, the collections framework which is the set interface and look at what are the important questions which are related to that like for example set and a list what is the difference between them what is the difference between hash set and the tree set and yeah a lot of other th stuff so let's get started quickly so as we all know a set interface is one of the important interfaces which are present inside the uh, collection framework so a collection interface provides the basic method so it you can add a value add a list of values add uh, remove a value and those kind of stuff the major set interface is an extension of the collection interface the major difference between the set and the collection interface is in a set all the elements are unique so any implementation of the set interface guarantees that all elements in that particular a collection are unique so a set collection I mean if a collection is a set then you can assume that a duplicate values cannot be stored in that so that's the fundamental premise behind the set interface there are three different uh, classes which are implementing the three different important classes which are related to the set interface uh, the basic one is the hash set. Hash set is basically an unsorted, unordered. Unordered means the order of insertion is not maintained and unsorted means it's not even in the sorted order. So if I insert A, X, B, let's say, if I insert these elements into this hash set, then probably it can be stored in any way because it's not uh, sorted. So it can be B, A, X and it's also not ordered. So uh, it will uh, it can virtually store it in any way but what it guarantees is the three elements are present in the set so it's a sort unsorted unordered so what is the difference between hash set and linked hash set the linked hash set is a ordered collection so if I insert a x b then the way it stores it is a x b so it's ordered so the order of insertion is maintained so if, ins if I insert an element before another then the even in the collection it would be stored in that particular way so the major difference between linked hash set and linked hash set is that linked hash set is ordered so if I insert a x b in a hash set it can be x a b or whatever it, it doesn't really matter I mean hash set doesn't really care about it whereas in a linked hash set you, the order is guaranteed uh, but it linked hash set is unsorted both hash set and linked hash set are unsorted the other important class is the tree set so tree set on the other hand is sorted so the major difference between a hash set and the tree set is that tree set is sorted whereas hash set is not sorted so hash set is unordered unsorted whereas tree set is unordered sorted so tree set maintains order so if I insert ACB it stores it in the ABC order so it stores it in the right order so it's it stores it in the sorted order uh, however the insertion order is not maintained because I inserted ACP but I got ABC so it's uh, basically sorted but unordered so the major difference between hash set and tree set is that in tree set it's sorted and the other major difference is whereas hash set and link set only implement the set interface tree set also implements the navigable set so navigable set has methods which allow you to do a lot of other stuff for example you would be able to find out what is the first element what is the first element what is the last element or you can even say give me an element greater than this give me an element less than this so those kind of methods are possible using the navigable set tree set also implements the navigable set interface so if you use a tree set then you can also say give me a value which is greater than 5 give me a value which is less than 7 and those kind of things are also possible so those are the important set interface classes uh, the, I mean by set interface classes I mean classes which implement the set interface as always uh, the tip to remember the right way is anything which which uh, starts with tree is sorted 
so the values are stored in a sorted way anything which starts with linked the values are stored in the order in which they are inserted so i insert value 1 before value 2 then in the list value 1 will be before value 2 so the in linked anything starting with linked the order is maintained and in other classes are neither ordered nor unsorted so this is the easiest way i remember it so it's anything starting with hash are unordered unsorted anything started with linked are ordered anything starting with tree is sorted so take that tip and remember it and it applies for any collections stuff so there you go so that ends our series of tutorials on the interview questions related to the collections framework we looked at a varied range of range of questions varied range of stuff uh, if you have any specific things that you'd want to be answered please drop a comment or uh, please drop a message on our website uh, until next time and until the next set of videos bye if you like this video show it by clicking like or commenting or sharing this video we are creating more videos on varied range of topics as we speak subscribe to stay updated thanks for watching until next time bye